children to stay in school. Keep their dreams, keep their dreams alive. Live your dream, live your dream. Welcome back, great viewers, to your favorite program, Live Your Dream. And I'm your OC, John Beggar. <laughs> Remember last time when a deal was sealed off to marry off Taleb to Longin at a deal of 50 heads of cattle? And there were celebrations at Akul's Manyata? Hey, hey, let's see what happened next. Taleb, Taleb. Yes, Papa. Taleb, my daughter. Yes, Papa. You have grown into a mature woman. I have this friend of mine who respects me so much. He is a good man. I have been asking myself, what do I give to this good friend of mine? Cows? No, because he has more cows than I do. Money? No, because he has more money than I do. I realized that I have my beautiful daughter, Taleb. Papa. I? Your mother should have told you about it, and it's true. You are getting married to Lomongin. Papa, I want to stay in school. I want to first finish my studies. What you have studied is enough. Do you think I should stand here and wait for you to lose your purity? How many cows do you think I will get if they spoil you from school? They will not. I can't get involved in those things. I'm still young. Taleb. What do other women have that you don't have? Shut up and listen to your father. You are getting married to Lomongin and that's final. I want to stay in school. I don't want to get married now. There is nothing much I'm going to do because preparations are already done. You are going to get married and that's final. See, I never understood why a call could not tell his daughter's dream that it was to finish books first. Just like the saying goes, she wanted books before babies. Do we listen to our children? Did a call at any one time really listen to Taleb? Or oh, it makes no difference. Well, the girls are waiting for results. Slow down, girls. Why are you walking that fast? Taleb, we don't want to miss the interview at Matanya Singh School. You don't have to walk that fast. It's still Halle. We shall get there and register. Taleb, I actually thought you wouldn't come with us. Come on, little girl. Why wouldn't she? She's getting married. And education shouldn't be a big deal anymore. Taleb's father is arranging her marriage. Are you serious? Really? You're getting married to who? I hear it's some old man called Lomongin. Nobody even knows him. Well, they say he is rich. He wants me, but... The reason she is so popular shows is because she was circumcised. Apparently, that makes her valuable. Circumcision is the most scariest thing I have ever gone through. It's hell. God, what happened? My mother led us to Kenya and we marched all night long. We couldn't rest. Why? In case the police was following us, we were on our move till morning and then we were prepared for circumcision as the sun comes up. So it's not allowed by police? They did it in the bush. People were watching at us as if we were sacrificed to the gods. My people still believe in it. Not everyone, Talib. I don't believe in it. I think it's cruel. No man or a girl should be forced to go through cutting. It's tradition. It's against the law. We must be forced to follow our dreams to be educated. Namoy, of course, I also feel I should first finish school. Then, follow your dreams. Well, I don't know how you will handle this matter. It's kind of tricky, Talib. I feel there is no choice for me. Going again, my parents' decision may land me into more trouble. See, there are many Talibs out there who were stuck between a hard rock and a hard place where they have to choose what their parents and culture deem right for them or go against it and chase their dreams. At least we heard it from her that female genital mutilation is like hell. Did you enjoy the episode? Well, share your thoughts with us on our hotline 0800200 and 600. Until then, I'm your OC, John Beggar. Support your children to stay in school. Keep
Let their dreams keep 